This afternoon on your News at 4, the wait is over. River Drive in Davenport is open to drivers once again. We'll show you what it took for crews to get it back open today. And Fran Riley introduces us to a local pool shark. He's been playing pool for decades and teaches his skills to many people all over the country. We'll meet Little Joe next at 4. Paula? Little Joe the pool shark, eh? Yeah, I've never been one for pool. I'm not very good at it, so but I like to try. It'll be interesting to see how well he does. Hopefully yeah. we ca he captured some good moves, Brandon. So. As always, right? All right, thank you, Sharon. We'll see you at four. What well, was uh, back in nineteen fifty five when the Campbell soup people were looking for a way to sell more of their cream of mushroom soup because it was not selling well. They created a recipe that has launched a holiday casserole classic, the green bean casserole. Most of us have eaten that all our lives. Monica Sudikoff from Chestnut Street Inn is here to make over the classic because she is dissing this stuff. She's giving it the big diss. Well, right? th th disclaimer, this is my favorite dish. I grew up this, I would eat the entire thing myself, okay? Uh -huh. So then as I started cooking and I grew up and I started reading labels, I was mortified at the amount of sodium in it. And I did a little calculation and figured out that if you make the classic recipe as is, it's close to 7,000 milligrams of sodium per batch. So from, from the one can of soup or well, from the other you, stuff too? It takes too? two cans of soup and soy sauce and all kinds of other okay. stuff. So I just, I can't hack it. All right, so, can't so this is your homemade version of yes. this, which you're making for your gourmet thing. And it tastes better. So here it is. Yeah. Um, so I'm going to start off with just a little bit of butter and olive oil and some shallots, which are wonderful flavors. Mm -hmm. And then I've got some mushrooms we're going to toss in there as well. A lot of mushrooms this here. This tastes good. But and it's not, I can tell it's, it's not as salty. No, not as salty. Mm -hmm. And it's got... A little bit more herbs and a little bit different flavorings to it. But you know, Monica, some people don't use a cream of mushroom soup. Like in my family, my mm -hmm. mother will not eat mushrooms. So sure. we always make it with cream of chicken or cream of celery soup. It's, it's still got the sodium in it, so you got to just right. be careful with the sodium. Okay. A little kosher salt, uh, freshly cracked pepper, and a little herb de Provence, which of course I love. Mm -hmm. And then the key ingredient here is nutmeg. Freshly nutmeg. grated nutmeg. You always, always, always use nutmeg with spinach and with mushrooms. Those are like the, the key, key ingredient there. So. This is really good. I'm not, and I'm not kidding you. The I thing of it is, um, if you look at the uh, label on the back of both the French's fried onions and the soup, um, there are other things in there, including MSG, yeah. uh, wheat, all kinds of other products that many people are allergic to. You're not making that gluten-free, though, are you? Well, you can. That's the thing. Okay. With this recipe, the only thing in it that wouldn't make it gluten-free is all-purpose flour. I just substituted the domata or any other all-purpose gluten-free flour, and it's gluten-free. This so, is gluten-free flour. Yep. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and add in a little booze, because... Booze makes everything better. Just a little white wine. Just a little bit. In this case, okay. And this would caramelize down. The main thing is to really cook this down until you start to see the mushrooms actually brown on the bottom. Sure. That makes them nutty in flavor, yeah. and it also gets that mushiness out of them. So once that's crisped down, we're going to go ahead and take just a touch of flour, and not much. It's about three tablespoons for the whole just batch. Just to thicken it a little bit. Exactly. You're making mm -hmm. basically the soup base. And okay. then you have to cook the flour for at least a minute because if you don't, you get sort of a raw flour taste, which is kind of nasty. Yeah, I know that. Yeah. yeah. Like when I eat my raw dough. Mm, mm, raw, raw dough. flour. Mm. Not so good. Is that wrong? Not good eats. Is that bad? You know what? Cookie, cookie dough never did it for me. Really? Yeah, I don't know. Because you like to bake and cook. <laughs> well, I'd I like rather to cook, not bake. So. With that step. Little, little, uh, not whipped cream, that's a uh, milk. Just a whole milk? A little whole milk. And you don't even need a lot. You just need enough to thicken that up. Okay. So once this cooks down... We would go ahead and add to it, we'll turn that off, we'll go ahead and add to it the green beans. Now, okay. here's the thing, obviously this is not peak season for green beans, so we're, most people don't have fresh green beans, unless you can them from the summer, which is great, then go ahead and use them. Um, you can get organic green beans, which would be your second best, which is what I have here, and make sure you drain them if you're going to do the canned beans. Um, that's fine, but just make sure that you drain them and you... Uh, Rinse them off really well because the salt is in there as well. It looks like you've used like a yellow wax bean. I used wax bean yeah. and uh, French green beans because I like the contrast in both color and flavor. Mm -hmm. So you would stir that all together. Now, don't judge it by the way it looks now. <laughs> Those of you who have, who have cooked with mushrooms, it, mushrooms cook down to nothing. Practically so it nothing. It turns to this. Well, and there's after. just a smidge of cheese added. I cheese. didn't say this was fat-free. It's just lower sodium. So lower, Okay, mainly lower sodium. Yes. And it does have a better flavor, of, like a fresher flavor. It I has think. a fresher flavor to yeah. it. Um, the other thing is the French fried onions. Obviously, mm -hmm. you've got these little crispy things that are great, but you can make your own French fried onions. All, right. All I did was took some um, sliced onions mm -hmm. and tossed them a little bit with the flour. And again, if you wanted to make it gluten-free, use the uh, gluten-free flour. Mm -hmm. And you fry those lightly in a little either canola oil or vegetable oil. And, and then you've got your little French fried onions. It all gets baked. It all gets baked down. By 13. Yep. 
And you have to make sure you grease this. I always make that mistake, and then my poor husband spends four million hours <laughs> trying to yeah, clean it. So make sure you grease it with a little cooking this is, spray. This is how it turns out. It is, you know what? It's really beautiful. But you could go to Monica's while well, there are only a few spots left for her yeah. gourmet Thanksgiving. Turkey Day at Chestnut. Uh, Thanksgiving at 3 o'clock. 3 p.m. in the, p. afternoon, in the yes. afternoon. $35 for the whole thing with all the fixings, homemade cranberry sauce, all the goodies. And Monica's fav uh, famous turducken. Yes. She makes a great turducken. We started turduckens about seven years ago, and mm -hmm. uh, when we first got them from the locker room, he only made three or four, and now he's making like 40 a year. You so. made them famous in, yeah, in the Sheffield region. A curse or a blessing. So. Good job with this, Monica. Thank Even you. though you made it a little bit harder to make, I rather know. than just dump it in soup. It takes about a half an good. hour to okay. make total, not five minutes. So Good job. Happy Thanksgiving to you. You too. Thanks, hon. All right, when we come back today, has it been a rough year in your family, handling grief and loss, especially during this holiday season? We'll talk about that up next. 28 degrees early Wednesday morning, only up to 43 by Wednesday afternoon. Another cold night early Thursday, probably going to be the coldest one we've seen so far this season, with a low in 25 degrees in the metro area and likely down to the upper teens when you head north of the Quad Cities. And we're not even talking about wind chill yet. If we do still have a little wind, it'll be pretty easy to get our temps down into the mid and even lower teens. Then up to 43 again Thursday afternoon. Compulsive eating affects millions of people worldwide. These are just some of the symptoms. If you feel powerless over food and unable to control the way you eat, you're not alone. Overeaters Anonymous can help. Through shared experience, strength, and hope, we provide an effective program and the support you need to stop compulsive eating. For more information about Overeaters Anonymous or to find a meeting in your area, visit our website at oa.org. Welcome to Overeaters Anonymous. Welcome home. Tomorrow on PSL, artists go green when we meet a local artisan who's inventing and recreating in all kinds of unique ways. Wait till you see these things that she's made. Teresa Bryant takes us to Turtle Travels. That's a new exhibit at the Family Museum. She's a turtle fan, by the way, Teresa is. And ask the nurse about the latest medications and treatments for people with diabetes. There's one that's going to come on the market soon. Um, a once-a-week medication for diabetes? That'll be interesting. Don't miss that tomorrow. In this upcoming season of family gatherings, it can be especially hard time for people who have lost a loved one. Handling grief at holiday time. Let's talk about that right now with our QC counselor, Rick Martinson, because this is just a real thing. It is a real it? thing, yes. And we think we don't want to celebrate without that person. We feel guilty with them gone, celebrating, having fun. We don't want to have fun, sure. What if you just lost somebody, Rick? It's really fresh. Well... Um, I think uh, the sooner you start to heal, the better. Now, you don't want to hurry through grief, but um, there are some things that will make the grief less miserable and more memorable. Okay. And so, um, I like this first one you came up about the, the scrapbook. Did you yeah. just come up?